deliberate mistake. Now, this is uh, another one of those tactics which I would never suggest that you ever use, but you should be mindful of the fact that this may be used against you in a negotiation. Of course, uh, you will know immediately when, when this uh, uh, tactic is discovered that uh, your counterpart had no regard for for your interests and was only really trying to be very competitive and assertive in the achievement of uh, their own needs, objectives and goals. So, uh, you know, just to give you an example of how this might uh, be used in a commercial negotiation, you might reach an agreement with somebody, um, you know, a supplier might uh, enter into an agreement with you and, you know, perhaps within a week or two of reaching that agreement, they might say, look, that there was a mistake, uh, you know, they need to review some of the terms of the agreement and, uh, you know, they know that they do that after um, you've perhaps, um, you know, dispensed with the alternatives that you had available, you know, so that uh, you're in a difficult position now because you've, uh, you know, you've let your, uh, you know, alternatives go in the sense that, uh, you know, after you've reached decisions or after you've made a decision, you've informed them that uh, you will no longer proceed with them. And in some particular commercial negotiations, you know, I, th I think, for instance, of construction projects or, um, you know, big software engineering, uh, you know, implementations, then, uh, you know, it's not really possible for you to switch to an alternative provider, you know, in a hurry and you might be stuck. So, you know, be, be very careful, uh, of course, never ever to use this as a negotiation tactic and uh, be mindful when it gets used against you. <laughs>